Hey y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a warning on this video. I came in here to do some editing on it and I just realized that pretty much the, all the video, some of the footage is not too good. And that's my fault, I didn't really check it too good. So I just ask y'all to bear with me there. I'll try to do better next time. But I uh, hope y'all enjoy what you can see and uh, appreciate y'all watching. So let's go ahead and get started here. Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all might here in my leather shop, and uh, I've got this knife right here I bought a couple years ago, and it uh, has this nylon uh, sheath, and uh, I've never used it, and uh, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and make a little bit nicer sheath out of leather for it, and I just thought I'd bring y'all along today and uh, show you what I do there. So um, what I'm going to do here first, I'm just going to show you this knife here. It's kind of like on a buoy style knife. Um, it's stainless steel, seven inch blade. Um, I particularly don't like stainless steel, but this is a cheaper knife and I like, you know, the way the handle and everything look. And I may wind up selling this uh, next month when I go uh, sell them some other leather stuff. But uh, that's what that sheath looks like. And so I'm gonna make a similar style sheath, like a, it's gonna be a fold over uh, sheath. It's gonna be very similar to this one right here. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, let me get my pen here. I'm just going to uh, try to make a little pattern here. Uh, this paper is a little bit small, but I think it still work uh, for what I'm gonna do. So just line that. Yeah, give me plenty of room there. So I'm gonna outline this knife here, but just uh, kind of give me an idea. where I'm gonna cut my leather. You don't have to be perfect, but uh, this needs to be just a rough drawing of it. All right, it's, it's gonna give me a general idea right here. Get that out of the way. And uh, so next, um, let me see here. I'm gonna take a measurement on this here. About an inch. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, from this uh, spine of the knife here, I'm gonna measure off about a half an inch. So. Just give me a, general idea right there. All right, now I'm just gonna draw me a straight line down through here. All right, just like that. And um, right here for my welt, I'm gonna come over about three eighths of an inch. So I'm just gonna go down here Every so often, I'm just gonna mark three eighths of an inch. All right, that's where my welt's gonna be. It may not be quite that wide, but um, it's gonna give me a little bit extra there to uh, play with once I get it uh, folded over there. And uh, right here, I'm just going to uh, cut it around through here at the handle and bring it on up here. I'm just gonna Cut across there. All right, that's gonna be my uh, general idea right here for my pattern right here. And then I'll be adding on the back right here, I'll be adding a, uh, a lot nicer 
a belt loop right there. They hardly even give you much room right there when you put a belt in there. But um, also I'll be adding this uh, strap right here. So uh, let me get this uh, pattern cut out and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, I just uh, took and folded down the center line behind that spine right there, that mark I made right here, the half inch line. I'm just going to fold that in too. Take my scissors here and get this cut out. rest of this here with my knife here and cut this top cut off here. there's my general shape right there and like I say I'll refine it whenever uh, I put it all together and do some uh, more cutting and sanding on it I outlined my pattern on this piece of leather here and I'm fixing to get ready to uh, get it cut out and I also got my welt there marked out and uh, I did made it a half inch you just give me a little bit of extra room right there Yeah, I want to get this cut out. I'll bring you back because it's going to take a little bit here getting this cut out. So I'll be right back. I'm going to put me a little adhesive down right here to glue my welt in. And uh, I'm debating whether or not to uh, put some uh, stamping on this uh, sheath. I believe I'm just going to keep it just natural. Uh, I think it kind of looks nice just like it is, so that's where I'm going to go. I do like putting a lot of stamping and different things on sheaves and stuff like that, but I kind of like the uh, more, I guess you say more frontier type look, just a regular uh, look than putting some stamping on it. But, you know, it has its place, you know. That's, I guess that's the hard thing for me sometimes to figure out exactly what I'm going to do when I'm making something. All right, let that uh, dry for a while. And on this back side here, I've already sanded and scratched that surface up so I get a good bond. And sometimes, what I'm using here is, uh, let me see here. I'm going to tell y'all the wrong name. Uh, let me just get it show you. That's what I'm using right there. This Weldwood uh, contact cement. So, it seems like it does a pretty good job. 
main thing when using this, you just make sure, like any other kind of, you know, adhesive, make sure you let it, you know, set up and get real, you know, dry like it should. And the good thing about this, you know, you can walk away from it and hour or later you can come back and put it together and you're good to go. So I do like it about, uh, you know, contact cement. But once you do put it together, it's, it's going to be there. So you'll be, be ready to uh, put it together and uh, make sure you put it together <laughs> right. Because if you don't, uh, it's going to be kind of tough getting it apart. And you're probably going to tear your leather getting it apart. So I'm going to get that, uh, let that dry. And I'll be back when I get that stuck. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but a couple of clips before this one here, the sheath looks a little bit different. Y'all see it right there? I changed it up. Um, at first, I was going to make it, you know, for this knife here and make it on this style right there. But uh, as I was making it and before I got too far, I really didn't like the way that's designed right there. And uh, that belt loop right on the back here. I didn't like the way that was kind of opened up and flimsy. So I decided to, uh, you know, part ways with this uh, sh uh, sheath design. And this knife right here wouldn't have worked in this uh, sheath because it doesn't have the correct support and the handle itself would be sticking up too far. So what I did, I went ahead and just cut the top of it off. And uh, I just put like a regular uh, belt loop on the back of it right there. And uh, I've got another knife that I made it for, and it works uh, perfectly. This is a little knife right here. I uh, really like it. It kind of reminds me of a, a front frontier style knife. Uh, it's actually called a Beaver Creek. And um, when I start making knives, um, that's probably going to be one style that I want to make something like that right there because I really like that uh, style of knife. Um, but anyway, let me show you that front of it there is just a um, dark brown and right here in the top right here because I had to change the design I put a Chicago screw right there you can see right there put a Chicago screw in it and what that does that helps um, make sure this doesn't get stressed here because this new uh, sheath right here holds this knife a little bit different from the way the other knife is going to be held and I just go and show you how perfect that fit is so there and just it just slides right in and uh just good snug fit and uh looks good and uh the, the sheath i had for this knife for just similar to uh, uh this cheap nylon sheath right here and now i got a nice uh leather sheath and uh you see how good the snug fit is and i just kind of lay this knife down and just kind of show you it's just like it's meant to be made for it there. So anyway, y'all, I just want to show y'all uh, that sheath I made. Uh, it started out for a different knife, but this is my own personal little knife right here. I'm going to be keeping this, one. but uh turned out real nice. And uh, I appreciate y'all coming along. And uh, if y'all got any comments, just leave a comment down below. And as always, friends, for my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.